This week we're talking about how to properly size, adjust, and use crutches, canes, and walkers. But first, our disclaimer. Mike Matthews, physical therapist here with the PT 401. Thanks for joining me. If you already haven't done so, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Also make sure you check out thept401.com. So it happens much more often than you'd think. Walking aids are used incorrectly quite a bit. They are often sized wrong too. I know the question's being asked right now, why does this matter? Well, sizing it correctly actually helps keep our posture nice and upright, and it takes a lot of unnecessary work off the body. It does allow us to move much more efficiently as we can with the device. We are lugging around that extra piece of equipment. It's best to not unnecessarily tire us out with it. We'll be looking at the walker cane and crutches today first off the walker we need to start by standing up if you need help for balance lean up against the wall stand in the walker with your hands down at your side the handles of the walker should line up with your styloid process this piece of bone sitting right here on the wrist so when it comes time to put weight on the wrist the elbows themselves bend to about 30 degrees this reduces the stress through those joints and it's not bending so much that we're wearing out the arm muscles now this height also allows us to stand upright and keep weight equally distributed through our spine we start by moving the walker first now if we are using the walker because of an injury or surgery on one side we either advance that side with the walker or right after. Now once the walker and the affected side are situated, we press down with our hands and advance the non-affected side forward. Make sure to drive first with the knee before we advance with the foot. And if you're keeping weight off the foot entirely, it's still good practice to advance that foot forward or right after the walker. Now for the cane. There are usually two incorrect things that people do with this. They usually put it on the wrong side and they size it incorrectly. First to size it, same thing. We need to stand up tall, lean against the wall if needed, arm down to the side. For the same reason, the handle should line up with that styloid process again. Now for the side. We place it on the side opposite of the affected leg. This way our body stays nice and symmetrical through walking and our weight gets displaced away from the affected extremity and not towards it. We move the cane and the affected side at the same time. They swing forward together and they stay on the ground at the same time. Push through the handle as you advance through the other side. Have the cane within six inches in front or behind the toes of the affected side when it's on the ground. And now to the crutches. Now crutches are rarely sized up and used properly as well. Rarely can you actually use the height indicators to adjust them correctly. We go off landmarks of our body. Now I'm just over six foot tall and I have to use the five foot 10 setting. Now the first thing to do, what we need to start with is setting it according to that height. We need to stand up, put the crutches under our arms. Now we need to take three fingers. They should fit between the axillary pad and your armpit. We do not want to put weight through our armpit. We have nerves, arteries, and veins that run through there we do not want to compress instead we use the side of our body and our arm to squeeze the pad to increase stability if you can't fit those fingers in there adjust accordingly now that we have that situated and only after we do that we can adjust the handles same thing we rest our arms at our side the handle still lining up with that styloid process to walk the point should hit in the ground within six inches in front or behind where the toes will hit we can either move the crutches forward then the affected leg or both at the same time once on the ground advance through the crutches with the unaffected side now, if your assistive device feels uncomfortable or difficult to move or it tires you out pretty quickly, take a few seconds to see if it's actually in the right spot and it's being used the right way. You save yourself a lot of strain and fatigue. Again, I'm Dr. Mike Matthews with the PT411. Thanks for joining me.